Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on February 12th, 2023. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update, as well earthquakes, volcanoes, and world weather. Starting out here, looking at our very active sun, as we've, as we've seen multiple, if not a dozen, solar flares over the past three days, plus that large plasma filament that whipped around the North Pole of our Sun. Some amazing times to be witnessing all of these events on our Sun. Having a look at the last 48 hours incoming, we do have some hefty sunspot regions here producing M-class solar flares, C-class solar flares. We've got CMEs, we've got plasma filament eruptions. And look at outgoing there. Amazing sights to be seen. Closer look here at the incoming imagery. Watch those regions there. Some pretty large blasts and near X-class solar flare from that region. Having a look at multi-spectrum here. Last 48 hours of events. Noticing the large plasma arc ahead of the sunspot region, equatorial, right there. Pretty complex region of our sun right now. Going to be keeping an eye on that over the next couple days as it becomes an Earth-facing view. 171 angstroms here. Normally we show coronal holes, but there aren't many to be talking about. Trying to form along the equator but diminished. Not much else is forming except for plasma, large plasma filaments stretching across the surface. Looking at our solar X-ray flux, remains in a heightened C range right now after seeing, as I said, a near X-class and another M-class solar flare today, multiple C-class flares. Geomagnetic activity remains elevated at a KP3. Real-time solar wind, we're sitting at 450 kilometers per second after being up just under 500 kilometers per second earlier yesterday. Looking at the highest frequency affected here for our planet with these long-duration solar flares. Just pulsing our planet. This is what they call the DRAP. Radio absorption. Having a look at the ISPWA Space Prediction Spiral, showing CME taking off outgoing position and as well, large stream of activity heading our way. Expecting that Valentine's Day. Having a look at LASCO 3, Core 3. This is the last three days of events. We'll be able to witness that large filament eruption from the Northern Hemisphere right there. And as well, all of the other CMEs taking off from our sun. Amazing backdrop there. And I'm now here, here, have a look at the Aurora forecast for tonight and into tomorrow for the other side of the world. Heightened activity sitting at a KP3 right now. Definitely going to see some northern lights tonight through Canada. So heads up, folks. Having a look at Schumann Resonance for today is a power of six. Kind of had a blackout here for the past 27 hours. Quality of 8.5, amplitude of four. Now let's get to earthquakes past 24 hours. We're sitting at just under 200 earthquakes, according to USGS. That is below average. So we're going to start out here with an active Fiji region. Some pretty deep earthquakes the past 48 hours. 532 kilometer depth, 574. And as well, 583 kilometer depth. Expecting something larger and shallower here. Most likely Solomon Islands or up towards the Cascades. Pahala, Hawaii reporting a 3.8 today. 
Indonesia, Manaquari, Indonesia 5.1 and a 4.5, 5.0 there. Philippine Islands, 37 kilometer depth. Taiwan, 4.7. Some activity coming back to Japan. Katsura, Japan, 4.5 and as well a 4.3. Hachinote, Japan, off the northern coast. 4.3 here in Tesper, India. As well a 4.3 reported. Garesh, Iran. And then still have these aftershocks rocking Turkey. And as well a couple notable earthquakes here in Georgia. 4.0 and a 4.2. But many aftershocks still ringing across Turkey. Thoughts and prayers going out to over 33,000 lives lost. The Mid-Atlantic Ridge, 5.0 as well. Antigua and Barbuda, 4.6. Large 4.1 here, rocking Dominican Republic. And as well, Puerto Rico, minor activity there. South America, very notable earthquake here. Salta, Argentina, 545 kilometer depth. Very deep earthquake for the region. 5.6 here, a Tristan da Cunha region, South Atlantic. Activity around all of the Guatemala volcanoes. Looking across the United States, Hermley, Texas, 3.1. Minor swarm occurring there. As well, 3.0 Oklahoma. There was another 2.1 Missouri, not reported here. 3.5 south of Yellowstone in Wyoming. And as well, White City, New Mexico. And Petrolia, California, minor activity there. So no swarms to talk about. Things are quieting down through Alaska, which is a little bit worrisome. Next 24 hours, heads up. It's all about staying aware and prepared, everybody. And I want to thank you all for tuning in. Having a quick look here at the last seven days for earthquakes around the world. Pretty shaky planet this last week. You gotta wonder what's going on. The Arabian plate up into Eurasia. And all of this heightened deep activity. West Ring of Fire and Southwest Fiji. Expecting something big here the next 24 to 36 hours. So heads up, we all have been warned. That's the last seven days for earthquakes across the world. Thoughts and prayers going out to everybody affected by that large Turkey and Syria earthquake. Pacific Disaster Center showing the most recent satellite imagery and the most recent volcanoes getting updated today. Starting out here with Fuego in Guatemala. As well, Popocatépetl in Mexico. Nev Nevadas de Ruiz in Colombia. 207 active hazards across this app right now. A lot of them are floods. Cotopaxi in Ecuador. Sabancaya in Peru. As well, Era in Japan. So that's about six volcanoes getting updated today, all in the past 11 hours. Chikorotsky is still puffing and a huffing. Looking at satellite imagery here, system moving into Spain. Could see some pretty stormy conditions as well. Tightly whipped system heading into Southern California right now. Could see a little bit of moisture, but other than that, it is a dry air mass. Carrying on here around the world, we still have Tropical Cyclone Freddy and as well Tropical Cyclone Dingani. Tropical Cyclone Gabriel making landfall now. So well, we've got quite a bit of moisture heading into Central Europe and Eastern parts. High pressure ridge being squeezed out into the Atlantic as we speak. So watch for moisture to move into the United Kingdom and parts of Western Europe. 
Having a look here with world weather forecast brought to you by Venture Sky. You got a big low off the coast of the United States, as well a low pressure center through Manitoba and a low in northern BC. Lots of moisture associated with that over the next 24 hours for BC. Put this into motion for the next few days. Colorado low developing. And as well, that central plains low moves southward into the United States. It's going to be mixing with some tropical gulf moisture. Watch for a wintry mess here Wednesday into Thursday this week over Ontario as that low moves through. And then a very windy event for the Atlantic provinces Friday into Saturday with that convergence line drying out in the long range forecast for the west coast overlooking south america daily evaporation rains could be really heavy at times parts of northern brazil and as well southern brazil friday into saturday next week overlooking south africa and madagascar this is where most of the moisture is right now mozambique zambia Watch for heavy rainfalls to continue over the next few days. And as well, watch Tropical Cyclone Freddy head straight westward. Stay tuned for the forecast models for the small islands of Mauritius and Reunion. Having a look over Europe, high pressure ridge locked in over the next few days. But then long range forecast will change. See a little bit of moisture moving in parts of Sweden and the United Kingdom and as well Western Russia and Turkey. You could see quite a bit of snow and moisture this week. Abnormally warm temperatures across the Northern Hemisphere right now. Having a look at Southeast Asia, the West Pacific. Do have a big system here developing for the Philippines long range forecast Saturday into Sunday. Could be cyclone material typhoon material and then overlooking australia and new zealand as right now we have tropical cyclone gabriel making landfall in northern parts and will scoot away over the next two days breaking down with high pressure ridge and as well pretty strong system moving into northern territory of australia most of the moisture penetrating the coastlines and as well northeastern New South Wales. Leave you here looking at the Pacific as Hawaii has got quite a winter or sorry, a weather event coming to you over the next few days, a Friday into Saturday and Sunday. Lots of moisture, high winds, and of course, pretty sure some high waves. Long range forecast, pretty big system moving into the United States. Could be a doozy. So heads up, stay safe. And stay tuned for the next video. Thank you all for watching today. I hope you enjoyed it. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your daily do. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button. Subscribe. Share with your friends and family from across the world.